I'm a hairdresser. Oh my god, no, no. Ouch, that was hot. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I look pretty terrible and this is how I've been looking for the past two weeks. Tomorrow, on 4th October 2021, I'm turning 24 and I thought, what better time to give myself a good pamper session, a good makeover and start the 24th year of my life with a new look and I thought I can film this and put it out for you guys. Obviously it's gonna come out in November I guess. If you haven't seen the series 10 things everything it will be linked up here or down in the description box. Don't forget to check that out because I did put a lot of effort into it so watch it. Let me know if you like it. We're gonna do the whole shebang today. The hair, the nails, pedicure, manicure. We're gonna shave our hairy legs and we're gonna look pretty. Alright? So yes, let's just start with the video. I'm going to start by showing you guys the current state, okay? So I'm gonna show you my nails. Yeah, I know, they look pretty beautiful. As you guys can see, uh, beautiful. Haven't touched them in a while. And as you guys can see, my face looks very tired. The dark circles are inevitable, but then I do have some dark spots. They're just healing acne marks. Uh, my eyebrows are just all over the place. I do need to groom that. I'm going to shave my legs, give my legs some love, some moisture because they do need that. Pretty dry and pretty cracked up and so we'll give my feet some love, some moisture and some nourishment and also we'll paint the nails properly this time. Some color that doesn't look that bad. And as you guys can see I'm growing a forest here and we really need to control that. So this is what my hair looks like at the moment. Now that you have seen all of that, let's get started. I am actually going to cut my hair and dye my hair. <laughs> hey guys, so I did go through the whole process of dyeing my hair. I did film the whole thing, but then there was no end result. So either the product was just not good enough to dye my hair or my hair is just too virgin, too good hair that it cannot be dyed easily. So either of the two happened and there was no end result and therefore I had to discard all of those clips but I did try and it did not happen. So yes you might hear me keep on repeating that the dye is not visible, there is no color and blah 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 throughout the video and I'm being really sad about that but yeah this is the reason I just wanted to update you guys. Yes, I did put a lot of effort into it but then there was no result. So yes I was sad but then yeah, there's nothing we can do about it, so we can move on to the other steps. Hey guys, so I just got back after having dinner and I set up my whole pedicure manicure session, even a tea. But then, it's already half an hour. So first I'm gonna wash my hair, come back, then we'll do the manicure pedicure and all that. And I don't see any changes at all. I even made tea, you know. This is a full blown pamper sesh. Oh, that tea felt so good. Okay, alright, so I have a little bucket full of warm water and I did add some shampoo in there. And now I'm going to be adding this food soak that I have. It's from Vedic Line. I'm going to add in like that much. And now I'm going to soak my feet. Ouch, that was hot. We need more water. That I can take. Okay, that feels good. While my foot soaks in there, we're gonna do something about these nails, okay? Hi, so I have like a nail care session, I mean a station set up right here. So now I'm just going to wipe off my nail paint. This yellowish, orangey shade that you see is because of henna that I applied about a month ago. So yeah, now my nails are clean. So I'm gonna use a nail brush and clean them with soap and water. I'm going to use some olive oil and massage my nails for like a minute or so. Now that I've massaged my nails for like about a minute, I'm just going to use this cuticle pusher so that my nails look neat and also because this just makes your nails look longer, so why not, you know. Done. Okay, that looks disgusting because all of that's oil. So I've pushed my cuticles. So after I pushed my cuticles, I just applied a little more oil all over my nails. And this is what they look like right now. 
Now I'm gonna leave my nails at that and I'm just going to wash my feet. So I have soaked my feet for almost half an hour now. I'm just going to use my pumice stone to just exfoliate the heels, just this part of my feet. And then I'm going to use this brush to clean my nails and the top part of my feet and that'll be it. So I did clean out my nails. Went, took bath and, and I thought I'll cut my curtain bangs now. So yeah, I'm not actually cutting my lengths, I'm just cutting curtain bangs because I don't have anything framing my face and I've always wanted something to frame my face and right now all I have are these tiny hair that just doesn't do justice to being bangs. Also guys, till now I don't see any difference in my hair color so I don't know if I messed up or if because my hair is like virgin hair which has never been dyed it's really hard and nothing really happened after all of that struggle. I'm gonna actually follow a YouTube video that was inspired by TikTok, okay? So... Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm gonna be testing a TikTok. The video is off, it's actually off as dummy, it's not as well. Alright, so the first thing she does is part her hair in the middle. I'm gonna part my hair in the middle as well. I mean, I do go a little towards this side or this side, but that's okay. I part my hair almost everywhere, so it's fine. Dampen up the front section with some water. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so according to your face shape and the thickness of your hair, you decide on a triangle, either that ends at the middle of your eyebrows or that ends at the end of your eyebrows. I'm gonna choose at the middle of my eyebrows. And also, Brad Mondo is taking like two inches of hair, but if I take like about two inches, that's gonna be a lot of hair and I don't want that much hair. So yeah, I'm gonna go down a lot because I am used to slouching, which I shouldn't be doing, but yeah. Do I look like grudge? I think I do. That's a very thin bang, but I think I just want that much. I mean, too much thick bangs could get it wrong and mess up, which I don't wanna do. So I think I wanna go even thicker because that's not needed to frame my face this thickness is enough right you guys i went all in and bought hair cutting scissors like that's how committed i'm this oh that's sharp so there's a finger right here i think that's the ring finger and the thumb we are going to comb this section nicely okay really really nicely get all those tangles out make sure it's still wet he just cut it like there under the cheekbones but I'm gonna go a little lower because I'm scared I might mess up. So I'm gonna chop like around there because that's like a safe place to start right. Let's do this our first job people. I'm gonna be 24 in a half an hour. Woo! Oh my god, did I chop it too short? No, right? It's cool. My best friend and my sister. I, I cannot believe this. My best friend and my sister. <laughs> you all knew and you didn't tell me? You were worried about me? <laughs> Alright, so what he does is take one part. Keep your fingers parallel to the parting. Comb it to the opposite side like that and then just cut it straight so I'm gonna do that am I scared? I am is my hand shivering? it is but we're gonna do it and then when you put it to this side it's gonna have a natural bevel apparently which I can't see I'm getting stressed there is my bevel ha huh, there there oh there Cool. I'm doing curtain bangs. I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's do the same thing on the other side, shall we? It's gonna have a natural bevel. Cool, right? This this hairdresser thing is just so easy. Check the length of the end pieces if that's like the same length. Apparently it is. <gasps> I'm a hairdresser. The middle pieces 
if they are the same length, which they are, I'm like a born hair, so like, you know, pushy. So he is trying to, you know, kind of blend it to the rest of the hair. So I did take like about half an inch of hair, connecting the bangs to the rest of the hair. Comb it once and see where the end of the bang is and then just go slanting. a lot of hair now there's like a connection to the rest of the hair did I do it right we have no clue <laughs> I'll have to put a post it here to let people know that I dyed my hair like <clears throat> wait how am I supposed to cut this side dude you didn't say that oh my god no no I have no control how am I supposed to cut my hair like that? Like, do I use my left hand? What did I do? I don't know what I did. Oops. Doesn't look bad. Right? Right? I don't have like... <laughs> blend! When then? I did that! I did that! Wow! That is cool! Okay. Okay. I'm cool. That's it. That's it guys. I am done with my hair makeover. That's all the hair that I cut for my curtain bangs. Right now, it's time for some facial, okay? Like some uh, skincare. So yeah, I'm just kind of damping my face with a little bit of warm water. You know, it's not warm anymore because air conditioning, whatever, it's, it's okay. not warm. And I'm not going downstairs to warm it again. So we're going to start with the <laughs> exfoliation. Do you guys remember this? If you haven't watched the video where I tried this thing out, you should. It's pretty funny, you know. I forgot how to use it. Keep. Pull on. That's it. Cool. Ah. I don't remember it to be painful. Did my skin just become very sensitive? Or. Ah. Oh, it doesn't hurt on this side. It only hurts on that side. What? That's a bloody nose right there. Move! Move! What the? Ow! 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 My nose is so soft! How did you do that? Also, a lot of you were asked after watching this video if you can use it on your like cheeks. You can, guys. You can use it on your cheeks. It's an extraction tool, a suction tool. You can use it anywhere. See? You can use it, just that I don't prefer using it on my cheeks because I have pretty sensitive skin. And also, and also because I do have a lot of breakouts, so I don't want to retain my skin, which I just did. Uh, I shouldn't have done it, but yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so red on my birthday. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but my nose actually looks very clear. Right there. So yeah, I think it did its job and there is a lot of junk in there that came out. I'm satisfied. That's enough. Let's wipe that off first, please. So I'm guessing this can kind of calm my skin for a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of... Oh, that feels good. That was enough extraction exfoliation. I was actually going to use this exfoliating um peel i just use it on the other parts of my face and not on my nose because my nose just went through some serious amount of extraction so i don't want my new curtain bangs to be exfoliated all right that's an exfoliating peel so i'm just gonna spread it on a thick layer all over my face avoiding the eye area 
I'm just gonna apply it everywhere else and also the nose because I just exfoliated it. I don't want to irritate my skin there. So I'm gonna leave that on for like about 10 minutes and in that time, I'm actually going to make a DIY foot mask, you know. I saw these uh, foot masks online, um, like a sheet mask and I was intrigued. I was like, it's just a polythene cover and some kind of serum inside. You can just DIY that, so I'm gonna do that. So that's my clean feet right there. It's all shaved and nice, by the way. I'm just using the Nivea Soft Vitamin E and then you need a polythene cover and probably uh, socks. All I'm gonna do is apply the cream, a lot of cream and then cover it with the polythene bag and then cover it with the socks and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then remove the polythene bag and just cover it with my socks and that's it. Leave it like that. This you can do if you have cracked heels and stuff. Just apply Vaseline instead of a moisturizing cream. When you just put socks directly, the socks is just going to absorb everything. Just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then obviously take off the polythene bag because you need your skin to breathe. You can't just leave it on for like the whole night or something. Just do it for 10-15 minutes and then take it off. So I have the foot mask on and I just washed off the exfoliating peel. And now I'm going to shave my face. This is from Let Shave. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to use a little bit of toner on my face before I shave because I don't like to sh dry shave my face. And I'm just going to go very slowly. If you want me to do like how I shave video, let me know. But there are a lot of videos already on YouTube. In a 45 degree, just go down. always go with the lightest hand for my eyebrows again i'll just hold it up there and i'll go down in like parallel to my eyebrows how i want to shape my eyebrows i'll just go parallel until my eyebrows there i'll stop and i'm gonna do the center that's what it looks like now Go to the sides from where like I want my eyebrows to start. I'll stop there. For under my eyebrows, I'm just gonna pluck it. My God, who is cutting onions? Oh. But look at that eyebrow. Like look at that and look at this. The comparison, it's, it's, it's so worth it. Yeah. Look how clean that looks. Compared to this, how clean does that look? Wow, I'm gonna do that. So I just brushed it upwards like that. And chop off any of that excess hair. This length and then just brush it out. And there you have it. And now I'm just going to do some skincare because everything else is done. I shaped my face, I did everything, the whole shebang. I'm gonna start off with my toner. I'm going to apply the Sika and Ceramide Serum. You can use it as a moisturizer, so that's what I'm gonna do. Dr. Shades Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask. I'm just going to apply a thick layer of this on my skin. Just going to remove the foot mask also I just turned 24 hello there so my camera card was full so I went ahead and painted my nails this is the shade by kinetics it is the bridal dress yeah you see I'm 24 I'm tired I didn't want to do anything but then looked at my hair the color is not there I felt sad I just turned 24 and the first thing I do as I turn 24 did not come out right. So I was like, I can curl my hair. I haven't done this in a long time. These are foam curls that I bought that my father bought from Abu Dhabi. So I'm not sure where you can get the same ones, but I'm sure you can get like similar ones off of Amazon. So yeah, I just sectioned my hair, did two donuts right there. 
Uh oh. You see, until now I was doing it just fine. And then you just put it there. See, it's so easy. B blend high definition curl leave in cream. So, this is supposed to be a leave in cream for curly hair. I am using it as a leave in cream to curl my hair. Did that make sense? Ta da! See you guys tomorrow. So, even though we don't have any color, we have curls. Yay! I'm sad, but it's okay. Good morning and thank you. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, I just woke up. Oh my god. So yeah, I painted my fingernails last night. I don't know if I updated you guys, but they look pretty, okay? My fingernails look pretty after so long. Ugh. I missed doing my nails. It's a lot of work. The foot mask actually helped them and you should see my feet right now. Do you guys see how nourished my feet looks? Just so much more moisturized and not at all dry. So cool. It just looks so pretty. So the foot mask that I DIY did help. So yeah, that's my feet right now. I'm really happy how they look. So I just painted my toenails with Nykaa's Masala Chai nail color and that's what they look like. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna take this off. I wouldn't say that's bad, but I did expect more. Hey, there is some color, some color somewhere, right? Something in between. I don't know, I feel like I see something. So that's the hair, cool, okay. Now I'm just gonna go take a quick body shower and change. Put on a little bit of makeup just to look like I'm not dead. And then uh, get back to you guys. down in the description box you can check that out that is it you guys birthday make over done please with that i am gonna end today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did as always don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and, and yes thank you so much for watching see you all in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.